Everyone, it's Emily Fox. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to not miss any future videos. I upload on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Today, I'm going to be continuing my new series about MAC lipsticks because I'm planning on doing an updated lip swatch video on my MAC lipstick collection. I will link down below the one that I've done in the past, but I wanted to be able to take the time to talk about every single color that I have and talk about them by finish. So basically, swatching each color, telling you a little bit about it, telling you how each finish lasts and show you how they last throughout the day because those are all things that I won't be able to tell you during that lip swatch video. So today's video is going to be all about frost lipsticks. If you know me, I'm not really about that frost life, but once in a while there's that one shade that I actually really, really love, but I realized that for MAC lipsticks I have one. So I only have one color and I know there's a bunch of other ones that are very popular. Feel free to leave some in the comments to help out other people. But one that I know that is really popular is the color gel. It's gonna be like a neutral, like nudish brown metallic color, which a lot of people enjoy, but this is the color that I have and I feel like it's the least frosty lipstick ever. It's the color Angel, which used to be all the rage a couple years ago. And it's gonna be light, cool tone pink, as you can see right here. Actually, let me apply it because it's the only one that I have, so I might as well swatch it. So this used to be the lipstick Kim Kardashian kept wearing a couple years ago, so that's probably why we all own this, but it's definitely a really nice everyday pink color. As you can see, it's not very frosty, like barely pearl finish, so it's probably why I ended up buying it, and I do like it. I'm gonna be wearing it all day so you can see how long and how well it lasts, but it's definitely one of my favorite color. I think it's a really easy one to go for. Since I only have one to swatch, I wanted to mention I'm planning on doing this thing where in every single one of those videos, you can suggest me the color you want me to buy, so whatever I do the full lip swatch video in September, I will have that color too. So for example, in this video, let me know which frost lipstick from MAC you would like me to purchase and the one that has the most uh, name or the most like will be the one that I purchase and swatch in September. You can go back and do that to all the past ones and keep doing it for the future ones and that way I will have eight, I believe, at lipstick to swatch more in that lip swatch video. I hope you enjoyed this idea. I think it would be fun to let you choose which colors to buy, at least one more for each finish. So that's it. Uh, let me uh, just do the transfer test that I usually do. It's a very moisturizing finish, so obviously there is gonna be some transfer, as you can see. So there's still plenty of color on my lips. There's a nice, healthy shine. Not so much frost, but I mean, I mean, it's a little frosty, but not super intense. So I'm gonna go on with my day and I will be updating you at the end. Okay, so it's three hours later and you can see there's still some color, but not very much. Uh, it's still very comfortable on the lips. There's still uh, like a lot of moisture. It's like a dog yapping match outside right now. Anyway, so there's still some transfer. If I try to do the transfer test, you can see there's still some. It's definitely less intense. Normally at this point I would eat because I'm hungry and afterwards I would reapply, but I will be testing it as long as I can before doing so. But yeah, three hours just drinking water. There's some left, but you know, not really. At least I have to say it fades nicely. Sometimes some lipsticks like just start looking very, very weird. It hasn't settled into any lines or anything. It hasn't started moving. It's definitely still where I placed it, so. So it's been six and a half hours and I wanted to update you on the lipstick. I had a meal and as you can see, there's still some shine there. Not so much color, but I do have pretty pigmented lips. So I feel like I, the best way to show it is to actually remove it. I mean, six and a half hours, I think this is like, I mean, there's still some, but I mean, let me zoom you in. <laughs> so this is what it looks like on my lips. You can kind of still see a little bit, but they're starting to be a little chapped and dry. So let's try to remove the lipstick. Aha, so there was still some color. So that's what I mean, like MAC lipsticks, they're definitely mid-range price-wise, but even the ones that don't last that well still last pretty well. Like definitely felt the need to reapply some. Actually, let me zoom you out a little. <laughs> I definitely felt the need to reapply some things. My lips were definitely starting to feel a bit on the dry side, 
But I mean, six hours with something that, even though there was still a bit of color, didn't have much left on the lips, I mean, that's perfectly fine to me. Usually after I eat, I reapply lipstick, so. So if you're wondering how well a frost lipstick from MAC lasts, now you know. Let me know in the comments which one, uh, which frost lipstick is your favorite one and the one that I should buy for my lip swatch video in September. Don't forget to subscribe, don't miss any future videos. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed that series because I think it's really fun. I've actually been enjoying making it. I hope you're enjoying watching it and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.